have to go. Today's operation to remove slum dwellers from this section of line is the result of months of preparation. It involves railway police, city police, municipal officials and contract laborers. जो उसका पर्सनल बिलोंगिंग है उसको कोई हाथ नहीं लगाएगा अगर आपके सामने कोई लेबर उनके पर्सनल सामान का टच करता है तो उनको मना कर दीजिए बाकी जो भी इंक्रोचमेंट का रॉ मटेरियल है जैसे बंबू हुआ पतरा हुआ या जो भी है उसको गाड़ी में लोड करें उसको लोड कराना है बहुत से इंक्रोचर क्या है कि लेकर के भागते हैं Legally, families who have lived in a slum for more than a decade are entitled to be rehoused by the state government. Faced with the destruction of their homes, almost every slum dweller claims to be a long-term resident. The slums have created a major bottleneck in the expansion of the railways in Mumbai. And the process of clearing them, rehousing the people, and building new lines will take another 10 years. At Central Station, the women's division of the RPF, known as G77, are planning a raid on the ladies' special. Dressed in plain clothes, they are on the lookout for ticketless travelers and illegal hawkers. The first victim of the raid is a young girl selling bangles. Lavinga has been arrested. At Central Station, she's formally charged. She knows the procedure. She's been here many times before. Actually, मैं ऐसा फेरी नहीं लगाती जो मेरे रोज के कस्टमर के ऑर्डर रहते हैं ना वो मिला के देती है और किसको मैं तकलीफ में तो कस्टमर को उनके घर देने का नहीं तो ऑफिस में दोगे ट्रेन में क्यों देने का ट्रेन में देखा है ट्रेन में बेचे तो ट्रेन में पकड़े जाओगे फायदा क्या है वही एक ही लेडी स्पेशल लेके भी चले आते कोई भी ट्रेन म उनको हटाएंगे ही वो आने का नहीं है आ जाएंगे कल आएंगे परसों आएंगे डेली डेली करना ही है कितना बार तुम लोगों को समझाने का है आपके हिसाब से जो हमारा जो हेल्प होता है वो आप जरा हम क्या हेल्प कर सकते हैं बोलो करो जी स्पेशल कांस्टेबल अनापुना हैज हर्ड इट ऑल बिफोर
Lavinga is to appear before the magistrate the next day. As his 15th birthday approaches, Shankar is taking a long, hard look at his life. Thanks to Balu and the railways, he survived in Tani for more than two years. Most major stations in Mumbai and throughout India have their own railway courts. They mainly deal with victimless crimes and minor misdemeanors. The magistrate today in court 36 is Prakash Rahul, a human rights lawyer and a published poet. In court I see about 500 people a day. So for a hawkers are concerned, they come near about 300, 400 people come. They have no other option, there is no other go to do anything. So they have to do the same thing. They again come, pay fine and do the same thing. The whole process takes about 15 minutes and Lavinga has been fined 400 rupees. For her, it's just an overhead. But more importantly, she's also lost a day's business on the train. Being a magistrate, I have to be a magistrate. I have to go by the evidence which comes before me. And I have to deliver a judgment, pronounce a judgment as per the record before me. Even though the poet is not happy with that, I have to do that as a magistrate. So that inspired me a lot. So I have written a poem on it also. लोहे की लकीरों पे दौड़ते रहना ही हमारी जिंदगी है कंगी कलम कंगन गुलाब ही तो बेचते हैं कोई असला या गर्द का जहर तो नहीं बेचते फिर भी सिपाही की कहर वाली नजर से बचते नहीं और मुनसिफ है कि सजा देने से नहीं थकता और हम ये गुनाह रोज करने से नहीं चुकते क्योंकि इन लोहिर लोहे की लकीरों से ही हमारे घर के चूलों के लौ बरकरार है Balu is one of life's natural survivors. But the railways have been his life, and today he's grateful for that. आपल्या वडिलांनी काय सोडलं नाही आपल्याला पण आपल्या पोरांसाठी सगळं केलंय घर दार सगळं करून ठेवलंय आपलं आता समजा मला काय झालं 